Hello everybody, uh, welcome to October. Uh, if you're doing Inktober this year, please do post your artworks to the Inkscape Gallery or the Inkscape Folk Forum uh, because I'd love to see, see them. Uh, Inkscape has some of the most amazing artists. Uh, first of all, big thank you to the new supporters for this month um, and also a very kind supporter who um, up increased their, their support amount to cover the dip in the uh, support that I, I mentioned last week. This means that we can continue doing nine, nine hours a week. So my, my big thank, thank you to everybody that continues to support me and helping me do this work. Uh, James, the intern, finally completed his first bug fix. He, he fixed the uh, guides menu becoming unsynced and synchronized. So a big congratulations to James. Um, I'll be continuing to support him uh, to hopefully fix even more bugs, even little ones like like this, because I think, you know, just polishing Ink Ink Inkscape is, is a great contribution. What have I been up to? So, like I said, like I mentioned last week, uh, I'm doing uh, leadership and administration this week. That, that's what I've been doing. If you are waiting for the multi-page support, um, come back next week. I'll be doing multi-page support next week. Uh, I'll be hopefully making them all snappy and, you know, organizable. Uh, and do continue to let me know what you think of the branch. I'm, I'm seriously interested in feed, feedback. Uh, I, oh, I did actually fix a thing in the website that stopped people that downloading the very late, latest version. So if you were having trouble seeing the multi-page support from previously, try again now. I think you'll have a lot more success. Okay, so the leadership stuff, the, the, there are two halves to the work that I've been doing. One is political and the other is technical. So I'm a member of the Inkscape Leadership Committee and part of the work that we've been trying to do is uh, sort out the mess that we have in terms of membership and le leadership so that the project can uh, proceed to represent its contributors effectively right so like us leaders respond to our contributors well and use the resources that we have at our disposable effectively especially things like the donations uh, but we've not been great at that and so part of this process is making sure that all of the contributors that w that are not pro programmers are recognized as Inkscape contributors and can do things like vote and uh, the, so the process that I've been working on politically is to draft the membership proposal, which has now passed, uh, which is great news. Uh, and it's taken a long time because we have uh, a very diverse leadership committee with lots of different views about how Inkscape should be organized and, and how it should actually move forwards in the future. Um, to such a degree, even that so, some members actually think there's nothing wrong with how that we're conducting ourselves currently. Uh, which I vehemently disagree with, but, uh, you know, every single committee me member contributed to the policy and contributed their uh, concerns. And I think we've ended up with a much stronger do document because we have everybody's concerns sort of built in, which is great. Uh, it passed four to two, so it wasn't unanimous, but um, it, it's still a pr very good m membership policy. That leads me to the uh, technical side. Now, the website itself will be hosting the membership uh, sort of technology, the ability to join the Inkscape pro project as a voting mem member, running elections, and doing all of the things that the membership policy says that we need to be able to do, um, things like logging in a Git repository, making sure that the uh, information is freely available. We want this to be available to everybody, no secrets, no like hidden stuff behind the scenes. Everything needs to be publicly available, but at the same time secure. So uh, most of my technical week this week has been programming in Django and in Python. Um, I've got uh, me messages that need that get sent to the ma mailing lists for reporting on um, who needs to join and, and who has joined and stuff, stuff like that. I have a, an entire Git logging system that I had to build, which was difficult to do mentally conceptually to like turn a database into a git repository um which which is great i'm actually very happy with the results there and um if you are actually interested in helping and you're a website designer uh please do get in touch i'm i'm interested in some in having some people help me to just make it look nicer and work better 
I know a lot of uh, website designers would like to attack the entire web website and like redesign everything, but I just need some design help with the specifics for memberships. So like joining buttons and stuff, stuff like that. Uh, message me if you if you're interested. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at. You know, uh, the website's getting improved. My plan is to deploy it this weekend, hopefully on testing, and we'll start getting some testing users. If you're interested in testing, also you can contact me too. You don't have to be a contributor to test it. And um, next week, I'll be spending my hours on multi-page support again. So um, thank you all very much for your support. Uh, thank you for supporting me even during the sort of like administration break. And uh, I will see you all next week.